Hello everyone, this is Shmeez Killicorn. Uh, today is one of my days off. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of a stir and a, and a wooden paddle. Um, you can do both. Um, people I see at markets, they do the, the, the automatic stir. And then, of course, you know, I know people that still do the wooden paddle like I do. Um, I started um, doing Killicorn back in 2010. I used to work for this company called Killipop. And by the way, this is Shmeez Killicorn. Uh, please follow me on YouTube and like me on Facebook. Um, and, uh, you know, thanks for supporting everyone. I do these videos to try to help people along with their kettle corn business and how to get started. So, um, when I first started, and then of course I have my lucky, uh, weirdo uh, shirt on today. Um, I, it's one of my favorite shirts that I wear out to the market. So, um, I also want to have like a, one that says freak, but you know, weirdo it is for right now. Um, and I also have a, a new hat today, um, as well in this video. So. Um, thanks for all of your support, everyone, and um, again, uh, let's get right to it. So this market was a $1,800 market in three hours. This is actually called the Sonoma Farmer's Market. It's a, it's a really nice market. In fact, if you ever are going to visit California and tour, Sonoma is a very nice place to visit. In fact, one of the nice things about this market is that you can actually walk around and drink wine. Over there at the far end, they had someone hand-dipping corn dogs. Um, my booth is always one of the most popular booths, and then behind, they had a band playing, and they had... Um, people sitting down on the grass drinking more wine. Um, in fact, I had a homeless guy one year come by and tell me, um, oh, you know, I just found a $400 bottle of wine. And he's like, okay, well, that, you know, that's great for you. I mean, you know, whatever is going to make your night, buddy. And, um, it's just, uh, and then there's always musicians playing. So in this market here, um, Thomas, I'm actually training at, at this point um, in Kettle Corn. I was uh, lead sales. And um, after you are going to become lead sales, you, you know, you, you get to drive there and rest on the way home. Uh, the lead sales person handles all the money and an apron. And the, the, the helper is the one who is basically, you know, just like a, in construction or wherever job, you know, the first people get in are going to be the trainee. And, uh, of course, Thomas here, I'm watching in this batch here um, he, as he makes it the, his first batch. Uh, he forgot his face mask or we forgot our face masks. So he's uh, improvising by using a hat. In a pretty creative, in a pretty creative way, um, and then if you see here, um, the really interesting thing about these paddles is that um, my wooden paddles are like pizza oven paddles, so it's a little bit smaller of a paddle. I actually really like these ones here, and in fact, I might consider myself looking into buying one. But my former boss said that they're about four hundred dollars a paddle, and he uses a, an untreated um, wooden uh, ore from a like, sporting goods store, and then uh, he he probably had somebody professionally make them for him. And uh, the nice thing about the wide um, part of the paddle is that you can actually um, really get a good stir in. And um, from what I've heard versus this, the stir versus the wooden paddle, I also heard that this, I don't, I don't know if this is true or not because I've never used a stir except for maybe two or three times. And each time the stir has never worked properly. The batteries always are, were dead or were not fully charged. And sometimes we even went out and used generators. And so it just wasn't really reliable enough to where if I use a stir, hands down, um, the stir always, um, the, the, uh, not, not the stir, I get my words mixed up. Hands down, the paddle always won for me because I could do um, myself in one four hour period, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars just on kettle corn alone with a paddle. I can stir and then, and then bag, stir, bag, handle, cash, and pop. And um, at the end of the day, the one thing that I've learned in sales is that if you have a really busy booth, people will learn how um, to wait. They'll wait for a really good product. Here, I'm actually showing you know people how to sample um, by reaching out and letting people try it before they order. That also keeps them a little more patient by waiting in line. Um, and I did all the bagging and the, the, the cash handling while Thomas did the lemonade. And um, we did lemonades for $3 at the time. And we used the, the lemonades were a big pain as well as doing this, the, the, the kettle corn because it just took away time from actually having us to clean up. And, and then of course we had a tip jar there. You see that tip jar is full. We used to make between 30 or so a day in tips uh, just be, and we split, uh, split the tips. And um, uh, th this is pretty much our setup. The one thing that was also kind of annoying versus Maryland versus California is that if the screen setup, we had to put screens up in all areas of our booth. In some areas, we actually had to put up a screen in the very front. And, then, and that was a real deterrent because, you know, you want to see the, the popcorn being made. And here's a line of people. I have a line of people all the way down the street. Um, and 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 once you see it being made, that's how you get people to come in. You know, you got to bring people in as well. 
And uh, once you get, and, and the one thing that I've also learned is that the herd, the herd uh, mentality, the herd mentality is uh, is really uh, um, one thing that you learn while you're doing this business. Once you see it being made, you're waiting in line. The, the longer that somebody waits in line with you, um, you know, the more that they're going to buy, and the more people are going to come by and see you uh, buy the stuff. So here are these, these kids waiting, and here I am bagging. And um, there's everyone's just really, you know, wanting that fresh hot popcorn, and uh, it's constantly batch after batch after batch. And of course, here are these kettles, man, or they've had a lot of miles. Uh, they start, they've been in business for you know, 10, 15 years probably now, and they still do these markets. And those kettles are still, what they'll do is they'll grind them all down and then they spray paint them black. But yeah, um, this is pretty much where I got, you know, the idea to do the kettle corn on my own, and um, I still use a paddle the same way. I get my wooden pedals from Restaurant Depot, and um, at the end of the day, um, I know for the only drawback with the paddle, so what I do is I keep another paddle on me at all times. So if my paddle breaks, then I have another one as a backup. Um, one a few different times I've broken a paddle, or I threw it on the ground and it chipped, and you know, you can't have a chipped paddle in your popper. You can't have a chipped paddle and risk pieces of wood going into your popcorn. And other than that, you know, if you keep your 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 paddle safe from uh, dropping it or stepping on it, like I have done a few times. Um, in fact, I was in an area one year where um, I forgot my paddle and had to tell all these people that I couldn't sell because I didn't have my paddle. And so, you know, having a, a checklist is very important. Um, we used to have a, a checklist as well when we used to go out. We used to do several markets a week, um, you know, probably 40 plus, 50 plus markets a week. And, um, and that's just pretty much uh, what got me into doing my own business. I, I'm only doing five markets a week, and what I do now is nothing compared to what I used to make kettle, kettle pop. I used to make kettle pop for, uh, four to $6,000 a week in sales. Um, one market we used to do alone, 20, on Friday evening, 2500 and then we did another one. 1800 so there's a few to three or four more I was doing six to seven markets a week and in, in, in fact in three years before I quit I did four years um, in three years in, in almost four years I did 850 markets a week uh, for the whole for the, for the whole time and in fact if I was gonna do a thousand farmers markets then that's when I was gonna get a cruise so again um, thanks for watching everybody um, this is uh, the Sonoma farmers market um, if you're ever gonna tour the area maybe kettle pop is still there um, but again, I'm not going to buy no, um, uh, you know, $15 bag of popcorn, but, uh, good luck with everybody getting started. This is Schmitty's Kettle Corn. Please like and subscribe. And if you found this information useful, um, give me a shout out. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask below. I really appreciate all the positive feedback I've been getting from these videos. I just ordered myself a new camera, so I plan on doing some more professional videos on the outside as well. Um, and thanks again. Um, uh, take it easy guys.